Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I hope I have an interesting video for you because it's going to be slightly off topic from um, what I normally talk about, but keep in mind that it's still EDC applicable. Uh, it still applies to EDC. This is stuff that I have new additions to my EDC, that um, stuff that I'm carrying when I'm not at work. If I'm not working, um, and uh, I, it's the weekends, I'm in town, I'm going on vacation, uh, you know, uh, this is stuff that I um, have started carrying, uh, excluding the deck of cards and this pocket watch. That's just there to make the sh frame a little bit more visually appealing, in my opinion. Uh, but yes, um, as you may or may not know, that EDC stands for e Everyday Carry, and although I don't carry this stuff every day, I still incorporate to, to the EDC video uh, because it's something that I carry on a regular basis now. At least a predictable basis. And uh, for those of you not aware, EDCs change depending on um, your mood, um, uh, what you have going on, if you live in different geographical locations, um, you know, the law, what you can legally carry. So, uh, my EDC does change, uh, as with most of everybody's EDC uh, changes, and uh, the whole point of having EDC update videos is not just to um, um, uh, quench the thirst of the nosy, but to give people ideals of different things they can carry to improve their life, stuff that they might find useful and um, helpful. So, basically, what I'm talking about here, this is non-work EDC. I'm not going to be mowing lawns and using this stuff. But um, I, uh, this is more of beauty, um, health. Uh, um, I don't. I don't know quite what category to put this in. Um, I, I'm going to call it the gentleman's EDC items. Uh, if you aspire to be a gentleman, you want to be, you want to put your best uh, foot forward whenever you meet someone. You want to put, leave a good impression on someone, not necessarily a scary redneck impression or a, uh, you know, paranoid survivalist impression or tactical Dan impression. You want to, you want to make um, connections with people, and you want to, um, you want to look more professional or more attractive or whatever your reason is for carrying the different things, this stuff might help. And that's um, kind of the uh, point of these items that I've been carrying, is to improve um, health and, um, and um, my appearance. Um, I don't know quite how else better to say it than that. Um, first off, these are uh, hand sanitizers from uh, Bath and Body Works. I know that's generally considered a chick store. They sell scented candles, air fresheners, uh, body washes, um, um, body sprays, but they do have a men's section. And um, the men's section might be small, but it has good stuff in it, um, i.e. these hand sanitizers. You can see that they have some kind of beads in there, those are like scent beads or whatever, it's not glitter. When you put these on your hands, your hands don't turn glittery. If they did, I would not be using this. But um, these are uh, scented hand sanitizers. They're relatively compact to carry. I have access to ind industrial strength OSHA certified hand sanitizer that can kill just about anything, but that's kind of bulky to carry uh, uh, in your pocket. And um, it doesn't really smell that nice. It smells like moonshine, basically, you know, 100% alcohol. Uh, it's actually 60% alcohol. Um, but um, these smell nice. They're a little bit more compact. You can actually kind of palm them. Um, and you can see that I've used the Ocean one quite a bit. And um, I carry these uh, in, um, in the pocket when I'm not at work, when I'm around, just going around town, uh, um, uh, hanging out with friends or whatever may have you, uh, may, may be going on. 
and it's good to know that you have some kind of hand sanitizer that smells good uh, whenever you need it on tap because sometimes I've had this happen it's gross you go into a bathroom in a restaurant and they're out of soap so it's very useful to carry stuff like this um, so yeah I wanted to point this out um, Bath and Body Works does have a men's section and um, they also carry men's um, um, body washes and they also have a, um, this is my shaving kit, travel shave kit. They also sell a legitimate shaving cream. Uh, this is, um, they call it like Italian barbershop shaving cream, uh, C.O. Bigelow. It's made by Parasio. If you're into the wet shaving scene, you know what Parasio is. It's kind of the lower spectrum of legitimate shaving cream that's not in a can. Uh, so, um... Yes, uh, Bath and Body Works does have a men's section. Uh, if you want to check it out, um, you can go in there, look at their hand sanitizer, look at their body washes, look at their sh shaving cream. It's good stuff. I, I recommend it. Now, the main focus of this video is this stuff at the bottom. And just to tell you just a story how I got, a, got in on this, uh, first off, um, uh, being on YouTube and watching different fashion type things, um, um, tips and tricks that I didn't know, like matching your belt with your shoes. And um, uh, a, w a while back now, I've been looking at fashion videos, um, uh, looking up different kinds of boots. Uh, it's how I um, eventually came to the conclusion of buying my Red Wing Iron Ranger boots, is boot reviews for, uh, you know, kind of fashion boots. Um, you know, I've watched videos on the, um, um, what you call it, the, um, uh, Wolverine a thousand mile shoes, um, you know, just stuff like that. Uh, I, some tips and tricks that I picked up was, uh, using standard Vaseline as, um, a, um, lip balm to keep them from, um, getting chapped, cracked, and, all weird. Um, for the longest time, um, I didn't use any kind of products on my lips because I heard that uh, stuff like Carmex and Chapstick uh, is addictive and it actually dries them out even more, requiring you to use it more often, i.e. the uh, Carmex and Chapstick companies get more money because you're constantly reapplying, reapplying it. And I know this is true, uh, at least in my experience, because my stepdad constantly is putting on chapstick. Even when he's inside, he's reapplying chapstick, the, like the cheap chapstick. And um, so I didn't want to be tied to a, a product that is going to be counterproductive. So um, I, um, I learned, learned about the Vaseline trick. Um, basically just rub this on your lips. It creates a barrier on your lips where um, it doesn't really let uh, moisture to um, evaporate out as quickly. And it, and it um, allows your lips to heal and uh, moisturize themselves naturally. So uh, also, if you don't know, Vaseline has many other first aid uh, and um, beauty applications for keeping skin soft and um, treating minor cuts, spawns, and scrapes. So it's good stuff to have. Put some of this in your um, um, EDC bag, and I'm pretty sure you can um, get this on a cotton wick and make a candle out of it. It's petroleum, by the way. So, um, you know, it has many different uses. Uh, so after I heard about that, I learned about um, this um, little lip therapy Vaseline container and I actually bought this um, a few days before a, a date and um, um, I used it at night and um, um, and periodically throughout the day at first um, and I found that it helped tremendous tremendous story <laughs> I can't say that word dang speech impediment um, I accidentally got the cocoa butter one and I must say I'm glad I did because um, cocoa butter was supposed to be good for your skin, supposed to nourish it and make it healthy and stuff. A lot of things I don't quite understand. 
but it also smells very, very pleasant. Uh, Kaimak chocolate. Um, cocoa. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it has kind of a dark uh, chocolate smell, I guess is the best way to describe it. I don't know how to describe it any other way. It's a very pleasant smell. And I got this, I used it, I was very, very happy with it, so I ended up buying another one. By the way, um, uh, every now and then, it took me a while to, I, I got this on, on accident, it took me a while to find this one because all the other stores that I went to was selling the original version, which is just standard vas Vaseline. And they also sell this in different, uh, in different uh, scents as well. Or fragrances like uh, rose, uh, uh, creme brulee, and um, they ha they also have one with aloe vera, and I think they have a sun protection one. But I haven't been able to find those in stores yet. Well, I've, I've been able to find the rose and the creme brulee, but not the sun protection one. Anywho, I really really like these. They're small, compact, fit in the pocket very well, along with one of these. And, uh, well, um, I like it. I have no problem with it other than the fact that if it gets squished, the uh, lid can pop off. And um, that was my fear that I was going to have this uh, open up in my pocket. And uh, in Texas, it gets extremely hot and, you know, it's against my body. I was afraid that it would leak into my uh, uh, pants and get everything in my pants all Vaseline lubed up. So um, I like this and I will still continue to carry it on occasion but I wanted something better. Well this is what we got. This is Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter in a um, uh, 0.6 um, ounce um, oh, points, uh, yeah it's 0.60 ounce um, tin container 17 gram um, and that's what it looks like. Let's see. How much is in this thing? Uh, it is... Uh, 7 grams. Um, so, yeah. Um, anywho, this is a tin. As you know, you can't squeeze it in any real way and it's going to open up on you. It, the lid fits extremely s snugly extremely snuggly that's a weird way of putting it but it fits very snug and um, it also comes with a lot more so you can um, you know it's kind of a better deal than to buy this this is like a buck and some change this is like three something I think and um, you know it's just it's still it's relatively flat you can still kind of palm it so um, it's relatively easy to carry and you don't have the risk of it opening in your pocket and getting into stuff. Um, but there's, a, there's another issue that we need to address here. This is like a buck and some change. This is going to be at least a 350 if not more, depending if you buy it online and have to pay shipping or, um, you know, whatever the stores are selling it as. I don't know the exact price, but it's, it's a little bit over $3.00 which isn't a lot considering that you can buy a big tub of Vaseline for about five bucks well I got the solution for you get yourself a big tub of Vaseline that has cocoa butter in it this is pretty much the exact same thing uh, this one just says the words lip therapy on it um, as does this one but it's pretty much the same ingredients white petroleum with cocoa butter and um, this is a lot more affordable to buy and what you do is when you use this up um, you save the tin and um, you can um, you can either save the tin and uh, use it as your bushcraft um, charred cloth um, making device or you can do what I'm going to do and get you a knife or a spoon and refill it which I think would be the smart thing to do because these small containers uh, like this one and this one are really expensive to replace considering how much petroleum you're getting versus uh, the price so if you refill it with this um, you're gonna come out on top money wise 
So I think it's a really good system. If you want to uh, carry this particular um, lip balm uh, on you, and keep in mind this this stuff right here, all it is is Vaseline and cocoa butter, the exact same stuff as this. Um, this has many different applications other than putting on your lips. If you get a, a minor cut or burn or scrape, this is good to uh, put on that to uh, keep it um, from getting infected and uh, dry it out and stuff. Um, you know, it, it helps heal your skin. Um, and um, also, this is a petroleum product. I'm, I haven't tried this. I might have to try it, but I'm very, very confident you can get you some cotton string and roll it around in here and make you a wick candle even and uh, have yourself a candle that you can use um, obviously uh, it's not going to work as well as a actual paraffin wax candle beeswax candle but I think you can actually extend the burn time on cotton with this stuff um, but, um, and I just love the way it smells um, actually, I actually got I, I tried to film this video several times. I can't remember if I said it in this video. I got the cocoa butter one on accident, uh, this one, and I'm so glad I got the cocoa butter because it smells so good. I've, um, uh, it's just a lot more pleasant to use than this, which isn't bad and still works, but it's just not as pleasant to use as this. Now, I will say this. Um, Vaseline. Uh, make some lip therapy and some configurations that I don't think you can get in this big tub like the rose or the uh, creme beurre, creme beurre. It's, you know, a dessert. Um, I don't know if they have it in aloe vera and there was a uh, like a, a sun protection one and uh, Vaseline also had a limited edition uh, like uh, Queen Bee one which I think has some kind of honey in it or something uh, or maybe beeswax. I don't know. I don't, I don't own that one. It was a limited edition, so I don't really know much about it. But I have seen it for sale uh, online. So I know for a fact that you can get the um, cocoa butter in the big tub. That's um, 7.5 ounces, 212 grams. Um, you can refill this one or these two, whichever ones you want to get. Uh, like I said, uh, nothing wrong with these other than the fact if you squeeze them, the lid will pop fly off or pop off. So I still like this. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's just, you know, it looks like a mini thing of, of Aslan. It's very compact, um, but I kind of feel safe while carrying this. Um, so that's basically the video. Um, um, this, uh, the hand sanitizer, the uh, Vaseline lip therapy are all things that I've started carrying in my um, uh, at play EDC or um, uh, weekend EDC um, stuff that um, when I'm not at uh, walk mowing lawns, weed eating, getting a bunch of dirt and crap on me, this is stuff that I carry. And uh, I'll have a um, EDC bag review, uh, I mean EDC bag um, video here shortly that has stuff in it that I carry to work and what I carry at work and stuff. So I hope you found this video um, um, uh, uh, useful. I gotta say I've been very pleased with the Vaseline lip therapy products and I think if you're gonna get this, especially if you're gonna get the cocoa butter, it's worth getting the big tub of it so you can refill your uh, small containers that you actually carry on you. So that's it. Hope you have a great day. I'm a Satsi 5 and I'm out.